Have you ever stopped to consider the true cost of a product? Not just the price tag, but the total amount spent over its entire lifespan? Welcome to the intriguing world of life cycle costing, or LCC. Life cycle costing is a comprehensive approach to understanding the total costs associated with a product or service. It's not just about the initial purchase price. It factors in everything from the initial investment to the operating costs, maintenance, repairs, and upgrades. It's an essential tool for businesses to make informed decisions about their strategies for design, production, and procurement. Let's dive in with some real-world examples. Imagine you're in the market for a new car. You don't just consider the sticker price. You think about the cost of fuel, insurance, maintenance, and even depreciation. That's life cycle costing in action. Or consider the manufacturing of computer chips. It's not just about the cost of materials and labor. Energy consumption, which accounts for about 63% of emissions, is a significant part of the equation. And let's not forget about infrastructure projects. When planning a new highway or bridge, LCC comes into play. It's not just about the cost of construction, it's also about the costs of operation, maintenance, and eventual disposal. Life cycle costing is also used in evaluating different energy systems like solar panels and wind turbines. It helps to account for costs associated with installation, operation, maintenance, and disposal. In the life cycle costing process, we look at upstream costs, production costs, and downstream costs. Upstream costs are those incurred as a company prepares to start its production process, like raw materials and research and development. Production costs come after the purchase, including operating and maintenance expenses. Downstream costs are those that a company incurs after it has completed its production process, like distribution expenses and marketing plans. As with any method, life cycle costing has its advantages and disadvantages. On the plus side, it provides a comprehensive view of cost performance, aids in strategic decision-making, identifies areas for cost reduction, and assists in budget planning. On the downside, it can be time-consuming, predictive limitations may impact accuracy, and the process can be complex. In conclusion, life cycle costing gives us a more holistic view of the true cost of a product or service. It's an invaluable tool in today's business landscape, helping organizations to make more informed and strategic decisions. Until our next exploration, keep questioning, keep learning, and remember, the world is more nuanced than it seems at first glance.